Hello everybody. I'm going to make this in such a way I hope it will be uh, okay to put up on YouTube and BitChute as well. Okay, it just has to do with stuff that's going on in the Ukraine um, with Russia and the Ukraine. And now yesterday they, oh, I don't know, was it an accident? They hit the Polish border. It was actually Poland. So now Poland is involved, and where does it go from there? Okay, the main thing I want to talk about is the possibility that there may be a whole other reason to this war besides to create chaos so that they can make order out of chaos, right? When the Antichrist comes into power, in order to get accepted by everybody, he's going to have to take what chaos is going on and create order out of it, right? It's on your dollar bill. Get out your dollar bill if you don't know about this yet. Uh, I think it's on the back where the pyramid is and the all-seeing eye and the Latin words novus ordo seclorum is under the pyramid. That means new order, new world order, or making uh, novus is new, ordo is order, seclorum it's basically translates to new world order trying to create a new world order out of chaos okay i forget what the two words above it mean um all right so anyway this is uh, this is an interview with jp as you can see here he is just a military guy clearly he has higher clearance than the average private who just enlisted um, I do believe he is telling the truth to the best of his knowledge. But I don't believe they are telling him the whole story, as they don't. They compartmentalize things because they don't want just every single G.I. Joe that's in on the mission to know everything. They do as they're told. And this guy is explaining how there are these um space arcs is what he's calling them you see this space arc the biggest one in the world is buried in ukraine there's also a smaller one that's very similar it does the same stuff there's one in the atlantic ocean y'all in the middle of the bermuda triangle which would certainly explain why a lot of ships go down right there when these were turned on before they're radioactive. This one here in the Ukraine has caused a desert over it. Somehow they buried their self or got buried. Now that I do not know. How long have they been there? I do not know. The guy doesn't talk about it. But let me tell you what's very, very interesting, folks. The title, U.S. Special Forces Trapped in ukraine space arc now controlled by russia question mark here's what we do know according to this military man who only goes by jp u.s army soldier um they are able to teleport just like in star trek beam me up scotty and they kind of dissolve and go up to the spaceship, right? Or go down to a planet to check it out. They can teleport from the one space arc from the Atlantic Ocean to this one in the Ukraine. Or to the other one that is smaller. Or to the one in Brazil. I believe it was Brazil. This young man, I'm going to call him a young man, says, because I don't know how old he is. I don't imagine he's 50 yet, so to me, he's a young man. Um, the one in Ukraine has, I think it's what he said, one of them is has a library of seeds. Seeds. That's the biology it carries. That's what it has. Another one, a different one, of these space arcs has a library of technology probably how the fallen helped mankind 
go from horse and buggy days to flying across the world in under a hundred years. Think about it, how knowledge has increased since 1900. Now, I already put up a couple different videos talking about this subject, how the, the what people, the most average person that believes in UFOs, that believes there's life on another planet, they believe they are aliens from another planet. They don't realize these are fallen angels from another dimension. And I, the talk about the, the, what I've watched and learned about these dimensions is so over my head, I'm not even going to begin to explain it. The main thing I want to get across to you people is that if you are left behind, and you start to see these space arcs flying around. They already know there's a bunch of them near Jupiter coming this way. And somehow all the ones around here, the four on Earth that, that this guy knows about, have all been turned on, and I don't know how recently. All we know, he said, is that a group of special forces left the one in, in the Atlantic to go to Ukraine, and now they have not been heard from since. So has Russia taken over that space arc? Are they under the control of Russia? Or are they under control of the fallen? He seems to believe, this young man will call JP, that these guys are smart, and they know what they're doing. And they're giving them time to do what they were sent there to do, until they just go in like boots on the ground from the U.S. to go try to save them. It won't be the first time we've left men behind. You know, the military motto is never leave, never leave your man behind. Well, they have when it was suited their best interest. But this young man, JP, does also not understand that these are fallen angels. And he also believes they are perfectly benevolent. They're nothing like the quote-unquote aliens in the movie Independence Day. Remember that one? Where when the mothership came out, out and all the little ones uh, were around the world, they were using our own satellites against us. Talking about the movie now. And the one they had in Area 51 all of a sudden turned on and became drivable. If you've seen that movie, you, you would, if you only knew just how realistic that was. All the way to the alien technology, how those aliens might have looked. They might have been made a little creepier looking. They look more like the movies that show grays, a gray with a bulbous head, big black eyes, tiny little nose, hardly any mouth. And they communicate telepathically. The movie got that right. And this little spaceship down in Area 51 that, that the Jewish man flew out of there with Oh, what's that actor? Young black man. Oh, I loved his movies back when I was into watching movies. Not the ones where he used real bad language, but the later ones where he didn't use that kind of language. After he had his son, he, he wouldn't make those kind of movies anymore. His name's on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, he played in it. They drove, they flew that alien spacecraft out of there to go blow up the mothership. And they were successful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was quite an exciting movie. But I'm, I don't watch movies anymore. Not like that, anyway. Um, but anyway, what I was trying to say is that stuff is more real than you know. But they are not life forms from another planet. They are fallen angels. That's the main point of this. I'm going to share this video by putting the link in the description box for whichever platform you found this on. Now, there's also another reason that Russia might want Ukraine. 
and I will try to find that video and link it too, but I'm just going to mention it. I may not be able to find it because I can't remember how I saw it. It's been a week or so. Y'all, I just have not felt up to doing much of nothing lately. That's bad English, I know, but um, I wanted to get something up. And this stuff's pretty important because if you're not part of the bride and you're left behind, yes, we'll be back to help you. Yes, we're, we'll get people fed, clothed, healed, heart healed and delivered, all the stuff you don't want to do now. You will figure out real quick why you were left behind. I promise you, you call upon the name of the Lord. You will have light during the three days of darkness. And you will hear from God if you call upon his name. It, and even if all you get is one of us coming to you, you will find out real quick why you got left behind. You're going to need to know this stuff. There's, I already put a video up last week called The Final Card, The Alien Deception, talking about um, how they lied to say the earth was a globe instead of flat. And I can't tell you how I know, but I found out. I wasn't going to mention it, but it's probably neither. Anyway. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. It's not a globe and it doesn't spin around. and doesn't orbit the sun. The sun orbits us. Okay. That's in spelled out in Enoch. That part's true. So I don't know what shape it is. Maybe it's flat. Maybe it's like a bowl. I don't know. But all I know is people have done research on the ocean. It's flat. The ocean is flat. Water doesn't curve. It just doesn't. So, however it is, whatever shape it is, it's, it's flat. This dimension is flat. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Alright, the other thing in Ukraine that they might be wanting to fight over is the United States is backing a biological warfare uh, laboratory there with a couple of other countries. And Russia might want to just take that over too. That's the thing. I got to see if I can find the link to that. I think I heard it on Natural News. Or saw it on Natural News. Um, with Mike Adams. I might have archived it. I will try to find it. But that's just another possible reason. Of course we had Betty from A Servant's Heart. And another lady. Um, I can't remember her name. But channel is New World Order Nemesis. They both got the war is not about Ukraine. It's about America and Israel. Well, if you take America out, then Israel will not have their allies to back them up. Hardly anybody's allies to Israel. Not really. So that could be another reason. The po whole point is things are advancing for whatever reason. I mainly wanted to share this video so people would get their eyes open to the fact that there are fallen angels that we would look at and say, Ooh, that's an alien from outer space. No, it's a fallen angel. And that's the form they either had to take or chose to take. I'm not sure. I haven't talked to one ever and don't plan to. Okay, so I'm just going to end this here. And say, um, I will come back as the Lord leads. And as he gives me strength to do so. And uh, I do want you to know, I have invested in a new computer. I ordered it. It will be here the 17th. And hopefully that too will help my job of sharing what I feel led to share a little easier. I plan, the first thing I plan to do is to call Best Buy. And get the uh, Geek Squad and uh, Virus protection on it. It may have helped me to keep my MacBook Pro for four years going before it finally got fried. So please keep me in your prayers that it will keep running until I'm out of here. If we get to go by the 17th, that will be just awesome. Could be before that, y'all. Could be. We did hear about um, Trump might go on, I be killed, or assassination attempt. It looks like he's been killed on the Ides of March, which I understand is tomorrow. 
So a lot could come down this week. It may go to the 24th. And if nothing happens by the 24th, then we will know that step up for Jesus is not our go-to source. <laughs> I won't share anything more from her. And, you know, here's the thing about it. When I put out that message about July 17th, the rapture is going to happen July 17th. The Lord did not give a year. But if I remember right, in her vision, she specifically asked about this year. Or it was made clear to her it was this year. In two to four weeks. He said in two to four weeks. He didn't say the rapture will happen between March the 10th and March the 24th. Leaving it open as to what year. Right? He said in the visions. The vision to answer her prayer for timing was two to four weeks. So keep your, keep your hearts clean. Your mind's pure. Your body's ready for no matter what. Keep looking up. And for those of you who get left behind, you keep your arms covered. I don't care what they threaten you with. You keep your arms covered. Okay? And please end up in heaven with Jesus so I can meet you one day. All right. With that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.